Yeah, good. I felt good running. Um, testing went good. Numbers were fine. Um, got, you know, ran plenty of routes, so um, it's good to get out in front of the scouts. And they just see you again. You know, they see it on film all the time, but it's good to get out here and they see you up close and, um, you know, then meeting them after, too. You know, just, you know, just let them know what kind of guy you are and uh, you know, that you're a good guy. Yeah, it's one of those things, um, obviously, just a few conservation drops that didn't look it in, but you know I'm not worried about it. I think my film speaks for itself, and um, you know I attack the ball in the air. I use my, I don't catch my body a lot. Um, I think that's what they see. And they'll see the catches throughout the past years. And obviously there's some drops, and you try to limit those, but uh, I'm not worried about it. And, um, I talked to a few scouts, and it, it didn't seem like a big issue to them either. So yeah, I think they thought I was going to be closer to the you know four six range. So um, I want to run right around. 4.50. If I could break that, it'd been great. Um, training, I broke it a little bit. I knew I was going to be around uh, 4.5 even. So that's what I want to do. I knew my agility and shells were going to be fine. Um, I had no issue with lateral quickness. And, uh, I think there's a lot of clips on film that show that. And then I think the biggest thing was just showing the 40, showing that I can run and um, you know, that I got explosiveness and able to get go deep. Yeah, it's it was weird because you know I thought I, you know, deserved an opportunity for that. But whatever, whatever. It's you know I wasn't. I try not to you know beat myself up about it. I um, you know used it as more motivation, I guess. And um, like I told Zach, it was one of those things. I um, you know it wasn't my sole purpose why I was working hard, but it was you know it was another you know throwing another piece of wood in the fire and um, you know. Cause, you just, it's one of those things you want to get out there. You want to compete against these guys. You want to, you want to showcase yourself, but you also want to see where you're at too. So when you go back to training, you can work on different things. Um, and, and those games are a great opportunity to get more film out there to, to show that you can, you're a football player and you can play ball. Um, you know, whereas like the combine, um, you know, the biggest thing is the interviews. You know, getting around the scouts, getting, they get to know you, what type of person you are. And then obviously, the testing stuff is what it is. Um, pro day, I know I was going to have an opportunity to test in front of a lot of scouts. So, um, you know, the All Star Game was one of those things. That, you know, it's another chance to be the best of the best and uh, um, stack yourself up against that. This was this is my one opportunity. You know, whether you go to the combine and pro day or you have the, the All Star Games, you have more opportunities. So this was my one opportunity. Trained eight weeks for this, this, you know, two hours, three hours of work, whatever it was. Um, and so yeah, there is pressure, but you know, there's that that nervous anxiety that you know gets you going a little bit more, kind of like a game day, you know, where you come in, you got the nerves, but it's a good nerve because um, you're you're prepared, you put in the work. So now it's just come out, relax, um, and, and do what you do. You know, after you go from the bowl game right into training, you know, the first few weeks are get yourself healthy. Stay in shape, start working some technique, and then the next six weeks is your hammer and the drills. Um, and you're training like a track athlete, basically. You're working on stuff that you'll never do again after this day, and um, you know, other than the routes and catching and that stuff. But yeah, it, the training it's completely different. It's um, you know, lifting similar, but the stuff you're doing on the field is completely different than what um, I'll do from this point forward. Now your, your whole mindset's changing wide receiver, you know, working releases, top of the routes, hands, catching balls, you know, that's how it's all switching to that, which is stuff you're obviously going to use and stuff that's going to be important. So I'm really looking forward to this next eight weeks of training before the draft and um, the free agency stuff. So I'm ready to get, get working on some stuff that I'll actually be able to use.